Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your Visual Studio Code Editor for the Java development. So obviously, the first step is to download the Visual Studio Code. And if you don't know how to download Visual Studio Code, you can just search for Visual Studio Code on your uh, favorite uh, search engine. And then the first link which will appear here will be from code.visualstudio dot com so just click on this link and directly you will see this green button uh, here or on the top so currently i'm uh, just making this video for windows or, but this same method will work for mac os or any other linux operating system so you can see this option just click on this uh, button and then an executable file will be downloaded which you can execute and it's very simple to install Visual Studio Code. So I'm not going to show you how you can install Visual Studio Code. Now, after installing Visual Studio Code, the most important thing you need to develop your Java code or projects with Visual Studio Code is the Java JDK. So if you don't have Java JDK installed, you can search for Java JDK and then you will see few links here so you can see in my case i can see java se development kit 8 which was uh, the older jdk version and when i scroll down i can see uh, java se development kit 12 which is the latest version at the time of making this video M make sure that this link is from uh, oracle.com right so I'm going to just click on this link, which says uh, Java SE uh, Development Kit 12 or whatever version is the latest version uh, when you are installing uh, Java Development Kit. Okay, so you will see this kind of page and then just accept the license terms and conditions and then choose the executable file or the binary file for your operating system. So as this video is made on Windows operating system, so I can just uh, click on this option which says Windows minus x64 underscore bin dot exe extension, right? So just download this executable file and then install it. And the steps are really simple. So once again, you just need to click on this executable file and then just follow the procedure and click on some next buttons and you will be good to go. The most important thing is to set the Java home environment variable. So I have already created a video on how to install Java development kit and how you can set your uh, environment variable that is Java home environment variable. So I will put the link of that video in the description of this video so you can just uh, see that video and install java jdk and set java home environment variable so once you have installed visual studio code and you have installed java development kit and set the environment variable the last thing which remains is you just need to search for visual studio code java and you will see this link all the links which i'm showing you i'm going to put all the links in the description of this video so you can uh, directly click those link and uh, just go to those websites so you just need to uh, click on this link which says java in visual studio code or code.visualstudio.com forward slash docs forward slash languages forward slash java so i'm going to just click on this uh, link and here you can uh, read this document and uh, see the procedure on how uh, Java is supported in Visual Studio Code. The most important thing I want to show you here is this option, which is download Visual Studio Code Java Pack Installer. So in order to fast track your Java development in Visual Studio Code, Microsoft has already created this Java pack installer for Visual Studio Code. So you can directly uh, download this and install this and it will be uh, automatically added to your Visual Studio Code. So it will uh, make the development of Java projects 
on your Visual Studio Code easier. So I'm going to just click on this button which says download Visual Studio Code Java Pack Installer and then save this file. Now once this uh, executable file is downloaded for uh, Visual Studio Code Java Pack Installer, I'm going to click on uh, this uh, link and then I'm going to minimize the browser. And you can see uh, this uh, window has been started for Visual Studio Code Java Pack Installer. First is to accept license terms and conditions. So I'm going to click next. The second step is to configure the components for Java Development Kit and Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, if uh, Java Development Kit and Visual Studio Code is installed on your operating system, then you will be able to see this kind of uh, message in front of Java Development Kit. You can see it's installed on my system and Visual Studio Code is installed on my system. That's why I told you to install uh, these two things first before installing uh, this Java Pack installer for Visual Studio Code. So just click on install and then wait for some time. So you don't need to do anything. This installer will find everything and set everything automatically for you for Visual Studio Code. And after a few seconds, you will see this message which says completing uh, the set of wizard and launch Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to just click on the finish button, which is going to launch the Visual Studio Code with this uh, package installed. And now Visual Studio Code is opened, right? So once the Visual Studio Code is opened, you can develop your Java project in your Visual Studio Code. So let's develop a simple uh, Java uh, code in Visual Studio Code Editor. So let's say I want to create this project in this path on my PC under this Java with Visual Studio Code uh, directory or folder. So you can uh, open this uh, folder in Visual Studio Code by just clicking on File and then uh, just click on Open Folder and then just copy this path and uh, paste it here and then just click on select folder which is going to open uh, this folder in Visual Studio Code. So you can see this uh, folder is open inside Visual Studio Code which is uh, Java with uh, VS Code. Or what you can do is you can just copy this path once again and right click on your Windows icon on the left hand side and then open the command prompt from here. So I'm going to just click on command prompt which is going to open the command prompt and once the command prompt is open you can just write CD and then paste this uh, path which you have copied and then press enter. And from here also you can just write code and then uh, space dot, okay, code space dot and what this is going to do is this is going to open your visual studio code inside this directory so this directory you need to cd into this directory using the command prompt and then th give this command then also it's going to open this folder inside visual studio code so let's uh, see this how it works so uh, i'm going to close uh, the visual studio code and then give this command and you will see this is also going to open this folder inside the Visual Studio Code editor. So once uh, this uh, folder is open in your uh, Visual Studio Code editor, you can create a .java file by just clicking on this icon which says new file. And let's create a new file. Let's say hello.java and then press enter, which is going to create uh, this hello.java and also give you this tab which uh, is going to show you some of the documentation about Java development in a Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to just close this and this welcome window for now and just leave the hello.java file opened. Now what you can do here is you can create a class let's say. So let's create a class. So I'm going to just say uh, class and you can see uh, this IntelliSense and you will see two options. So just click on the second option here, which is automatically going to create a sample class for you, which is public class hello. And here 
when you want to create a main uh, method here so you can just type uh, main and then click on this uh, intelligence which comes here or press enter then it's going to create your public static void main method and inside uh, this uh, main method you can uh, for example uh, print anything so i'm going to just write uh, system dot uh, out dot uh, print line and here let's print something so i'm going to just say print test and when you want to run this program you can see uh, this option directly visible here so you can just click on this uh, run uh, button or link here which is going to run your code first it's going to compile your code and if it compiles successfully then it's going to run your code let's say we uh, just uh, intentionally put some error here and then try to compile directly you can see this red squiggly line which is going to warn you that there is some problem in your code and let's say i'm going to run this code again and it's going to build your code and it's going to show the error compilation error because we missed this semicolon after this line of code so you can see uh, these warnings or compilation problems uh, if you have any in your terminal here in the debug console you can also debug your code by this option so let's say i'm going to create a string variable i'm going to just say string here and then uh, declare this variable let's say string x equals uh, test so test and then i'm going to pass this x variable here uh, inside the print line method and let's say i want to uh, debug uh, on the line number eight so you can see this uh, red dot here you can uh, move this red dot anywhere so i'm going to just click on this red dot and then once this red dot is visible i can just uh, click on this debug option which is going to uh, run your code in debug mode and on the left hand side you can see uh, the variable value also so you can uh, see the variable value and uh, also all the debugging uh, variables you will be able to see on the left hand side and if you want to go further for example if you want to step over or step into or step out you can use uh, these top options so let's say i want to step over so i can click on this button or if i want to just stop the debugging then i can uh, click on the red button which is going to stop this debugging now this is how you can um, create your java project and run and debug your java project in your visual studio code editor now if you want some more uh, support of java inside visual studio code you can always go to this icon which says extensions and search for java extension so just search for java here and you will see plenty of options available related to uh, java so for example if you want uh, to develop a maven project for java then uh, this extension might be useful and you can see on my uh, visual studio code it's already installed i haven't installed it specifically but it's installed automatically because i have already installed uh, this uh, option which is download uh, visual studio uh, java pack installer so some of the extensions are automatically installed when you install this java package extension for visual studio code so you can uh, just see these extension for example uh, java debugger if you want uh, there are 300000 download for this extension so you can try this extension or tomcat for java extension so you can see plenty of uh, extensions available for uh, you for your help so you can uh, try these extensions also but basic applications related to java you can directly uh, start creating with this uh, extension which we have downloaded which is uh, the java pack extension without any problem 
it's going to uh, work so this is how you can uh, develop your java project inside so this is how you can uh, develop your java projects inside visual studio code i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in